I have never made creamy, luxurious carbonara before. And so I found this nice recipe by Brian Ligerstrom and it looks really good. So I want to give that a try. Thick cut bacon, still large enough to have a meaty bite. And that looks good. Welcome back to my show and tell. I'm presenting to you my smoked bacon, the thick kind. We're now going to slice the bacon into thick slices. This is probably the most bougiest bacon I'll ever eat. So I'll add a strong pinch of salt, 12 ounces of spaghetti. Okay, so we've seen this before. Open the lid, drop the salt, drop the pasta, cook for about 12 minutes or according to the box instructions. After we're done cooking the pasta, we're going to need about 200 milliliters of the pasta water. So I'm going to take a measuring cup and with great dexterity, trying to remove 200 ml and put it aside. Add in a little squeezer of olive oil. In goes all of my bacon. I'm not going to oil up the pan because the bacon's already greasy to begin with. So we're just gonna skip that part. The bacon is fully rendered. Bake it onto a little plate to hang out. And then we're going to fry the bacon for about five to eight minutes until they become crispy or when they render a lot of fat. See, we didn't need to add the oil. Okay, now with precision, we're now going to strain all that oil and bacon onto a different plate. Careful not to burn yourself because this is a hazard. This carbonara, I'm gonna be using two different hard cheeses, imported Parmigiano Reggiano, Pecorino Romano, one whole large egg, and then three large egg yolks. Okay, now to make the sauce, we're going to need three egg yolks and one full egg. So that makes four in total. Carefully and slowly not to use a shell and stab the yolk or else it's going to bleed out. Why did I just say, oh my goodness. And then the whole egg. Once it's mixed together, it should look like polenta. So to the two alternative cheeses that I don't have, I've decided to use my own Parmesan cheese. It's been aging my fridge for two months. It mentions 50 grams for each of the cheeses. But in my case, I'm not going to measure. Uh, I like cheesy products. I like to eat cheesy food, so I'm not going to measure. I'm going to live life on the edge. Then we're going to mix all of that together. 100 mils are right into my egg cheese mixture. And all right, using the safe pasta water from earlier, we're now going to add 100 milliliter of wa uh, pasta water into the egg mixture. And then we're going to mix thoroughly again. It should look a little soupy and that's okay because that's going to be our sauce. One and a half cups or 300 mils of this pasta water into my baking pot. All right, now we're going to add 100 ml of the pasta water into the baking pot. And then we're going to add some black peppers. Move these spaghettis from the saute pan into the Dutch oven. All right, so now we're going to move the pasta into the pot. For that, I'll take this pot off the heat, egg cheese mixture. We're going to add the egg and cheese mixture. Add in all of my rendered bacon goes my egg. Then a quick stir to combine. All right, next we're going to drop all that bacon, all that grease, everything in there. We're not leaving anything behind. I prefer this heavy Dutch oven. It stays hot for a while. Dutch oven cooled off a little bit more than I would have liked. It looks like he's trying to plug in his sponsorship about his Dutch oven, which is fine. In my case here, I'm just gonna use a regular pot, which I got from Costco. It does the same job. Okay, anyways, we're gonna put it back on the stove and we'll put it on very low heat and we're just gonna keep stirring this around continuously and nonstop. So that way the eggs, they don't start cooking. And we want, we want to be in a saucy texture. Okay, cool. So it looks about done. We can start playing this. Okay, cool. So this is how it looks like after we played it. It doesn't look too bad, right? It looks pretty identical to Brian Lickerstrom's plate. It looks really nice. I'm looking forward to try this out. The carbonara is very creamy and tasty. The four yolks in total makes the pasta very rich and silky. The Parmesan cheese, especially when it has been aging in the fridge for two months, gave it that depth of flavor. As for the bacon, what's not to like? It is salty and helps with the pasta with the protein part. A very successful carbonara and first time making this too. I will rate this a 10 out of 10. I will definitely make this again since it only takes 50 minutes to make. Do you like to watch Brian Ligerstrom? Do you like carbonara? Let me know. Anyways, that's all for today. Thank you for passing by.